The Descendants have some competition part-time. Hawaii resident Doug Corleone has penned a new novel about his home away from home. Night on Fire tells the story of a local attorney trying to figure out if a woman is an arsonist. It is a mystery that's drawn the attention of crime novel enthusiasts and members of the Hawaii Book and Music Festival. Joining us this morning is featured author at this weekend's festival, Doug Corleone himself. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, you are an attorney by trade. I so, am. so tell us how your crime series is about an attorney, Kevin Corvelli. Tell us about your series as well as your latest novel here. Very provocative cover, I might say. Thank you. Yes. The series started with One Man's Paradise, which won the Minotaur Books Mystery Writers of America First Crime Novel Award. And it's a character driven series about Kevin Corvelli, who is a hotshot Honolulu defense attorney, who was before a hotshot Manhattan defense attorney, but moved over to the islands after an incident involving the media. So, um, uh, Night on Fire takes place where. One Man's Paradise left off in Night on Fire. Kevin Corvelli narrowly escapes a deadly fire at a popular Hawaiian beach resort only to land the prime suspect as a client. I see. So you have sort of incorporated part of your, you, you live in New York part-time, you live in Hawaii part-time, you've used both locations yes. in your novel. Tell us about, about that, incorporating, you know, this is fiction, however you use some life experiences, hopefully not all. <laughs> no. Um, it was wonderful when I first moved to Hawaii. Uh, I basically saw the islands through fresh eyes, and I tried to capture that in my first novel, One Man's Paradise. And uh, you know, Kevin Corvelli and I have basically uh, um, enjoyed the ride together, both in moving to Hawaii and in uh, practicing law. And why you are an attorney by trade, as we mentioned? Why um, did you write a book? Why are you still practicing? I practice immigration law. Yes. Okay. Um, I decided to write a book. I've, I've always wanted to be a writer since I was in uh, grammar school, I think, but I was always told it's not a career. So I did the next best thing and became a lawyer. <laughs> uh, next best thing. The next best thing because I had been uh, in love with the books of John Grisham and mm -hmm. Steve Martini and uh, Scott Turow in law school and um, high school, college and law school. and. Uh, then finally, after a few years of practicing law, I thought I had enough material to strike out on my own and become a writer. And so you just wrote part time until your books were until you found a publisher. I did take some time off mm -hmm. to uh, write the novel when I first we all, moved to Waikiki. We all in this newsroom want to write our own novel, but uh, there's never time. Of course, yeah. no, all you right. have to make it yeah, and okay. have a supportive spouse. Oh, excellent. Okay, Doug, thank you so much. Thank